wanted to connect up multiple MIDI controllers to your iOS device, iConnect MIDI is the interface that allows you to do this. Demetrio Navarro here of iConnectivity. Start with an iConnect MIDI and bring in your iOS device. Now this can be any iOS device, whether it's an iPod Touch, an iPhone, or an iPad. Next, bring in all of the USB MIDI controllers that you'd like to use. You'll also need a powered USB hub. So first, let's plug the hub into iConnect MIDI. And then we'll attach all the cables from the hub to all the USB MIDI controllers. Now it's important to note that each of the USB MIDI controllers should be on a separate MIDI channel. Each MIDI controller has its own method of setting its MIDI channel, some from a configuration app and some directly from the controller itself. Let's clean it up a bit because there will be a few wires to deal with. Download the app from the App Store that you'd like to use, preferably software that's a multi-timbral synthesizer, such as Music Studio by Zooten, which we'll use in this setup. You'll notice the lights on the front panel of iConnect MIDI flashing momentarily when you plug into an iOS device, and that's normal. Next, start up your app on your iOS device. Now the first thing you need to set up on the app is to ensure that the app will receive MIDI data correctly from iConnect MIDI. In Music Studio, press the Setup tab, and then the Configure button. On the input MIDI channels, make sure that it's set to Track, and that tells the software that you're going to be using it in multi timbral mode. Here, I'll adjust the level of the effects so that it doesn't sound too wet. Now, this app also includes a sequencer. If you press the Tracks tab, and already there are a few tracks set up, I'll click on Track 1, which corresponds to Channel 1 on your MIDI stream, and I'll pick a sound for it. On track 2, I'll pick another sound. On track 4, yet another sound. On track 2 or channel 2, I'm trying to find the right guitar sound. That should do it. Next, I'll clear the existing sequenced MIDI data on each track. Now I'll set a tempo for the sequence. Let's squish that keyboard so we can see more. And now I'm ready to play. I'll start off with a guitar line. Next, I'll add drums. Keeping with the convention of many synthesizers, Channel 10 is often reserved for percussion instruments. Now I'll add a percussion track using the drum pad controller. Next, I add a bass line.
Now I'll add a pad sound, and I'll pick a sound that won't get in the way of the guitar line. That sounds good. And now let's take a look at all of the parts, all together. Good. That's iConnect MIDI. Thanks for watching and have a good time making music.